Okay, we're in the booth here with the legendary Charlie Benante. Charlie, give me a little rundown of what you've been doing last year and what you got coming up this year. Uh, well, we released our record in September called Worship Music, and that's doing really well for us. And then, uh, of course, we played Yankee Stadium after that. And then um, we started our tour in America October, November, and now we're starting the second leg of it tomorrow in Vegas. So uh, and this whole year has a bunch of touring and uh, just meeting people. Awesome. And now that you've uh, had the signature stick out for a year, what's uh, how's that doing for you on the road? Well, the best thing about my signature stick is the, the conversation that starts when people know about the stick and they've used it. And then they ask me, why did you make a stick like that? Basically, uh, in Anthrax, I do a lot of uh, crash riding. My problem in the past has been my sticks would break right out here because they would wear down a lot. With this stick, I could crash ride all night and my stick still stays intact. So that was one of the key reasons for making a stick like that. And um, now people are realizing, oh, okay, I could do the same thing. So that's why. That's why you have a signature stick, because it has your signature on it. All right, here with Jeff Davis, the man, the legend in the gospel music. Tell me what you've been up to lately. Oh man, just working in the studio a lot, working at my church and um, trying to get into the manufacturing business a little bit, you know. Um, but Joe won't let me, he doesn't think it's a good idea. So I've been playing a lot, I like to play. So I've been busy working on my DVD. But let's hope that it comes out this year. And so that's about it, you know, having fun. And having a ball here at NAMM, this is really great. Everybody's here. Okay, we're in the booth here with Dave Elich. Dave, what have you been up to? Um, I've been doing a lot of clinics and master classes and teaching and recording sessions. And I've been working really hard on this new band with Greg from uh, Dillinger Escape Plan and Max Cavalera from Sepultura. So we're going to do that record pretty soon and then go tour on it and do that. So that's kind of my main focus right now. All right, cool. Yeah, so stand and you, busy. Uh, what stick are you using right now? Uh, I use 5Bs and rocks. So one or the other. I use a 5B for pretty much most things that I do. And then like this new band I'm doing with Greg and Max, it's really heavy. And I need all that power I get from a rock. All right, very so cool. one or the other. They're both great sticks. All right, cool. Yeah. And you, now you, really, seriously? All right, we're sitting here with John Mahon. John, give us a little uh, recap of what you guys have uh, just finished up in 2011 and then where you're going in 2012. Well, 2011, uh, I was just telling somebody over there at Zildjian, uh, we did about 225 days on the road last year. That's about 100 and some shows. Uh, I think I went around the world about three times with Elton. So we, um, the last trip we started in Russia and then went all through Eastern Europe, Malaysia, uh, Singapore, then New Zealand, Australia, and then back to Los Angeles. So we literally went all the way around the world in like six weeks. So that was about 20 flights and uh, a lot of hotel rooms. But we've got a whole nother year uh, planned. We're playing in Vegas again with the million dollar piano. And uh, it's sort of like a, a little bit bigger version of the show we did there before. We now have uh, Background, four background singers. We have the, these guys called the two cellos that play with us. These two young cello players. Uh, even Ray Cooper is joining us again for some of that show. So we got a busy year, uh, probably uh, 12 weeks a year that we do in Las Vegas with Elton, and then the rest of it will just be touring in America. And all summer's already being booked up for touring in uh, Europe again. And then the end of next year. I hear we're going back to Australia and uh, Asia again, so probably Hong Kong and, uh, you know, Elton can play anywhere in the world. It's a beautiful thing, you know. Alex, give me a little bit about, tell me a little bit about what you did in 2011 and then what you guys are planning on for 2012. Okay, uh, we, we released uh, an album. Uh, it was uh, very well received by the critics. Uh, we did a huge tour, uh, we won a Latin Grammy, uh, and now this year we start the tour again in February. Uh, we're up again for now an American Grammy, 
and uh, we're gonna break um, the the record at Staples Center's for the artists with most sold outs. No kidding. Yeah, so we're going at number nine, and it might go to number ten sold outs at Staples Center. So we're going to Madison Square Garden this whole year. We're gonna be touring until August. So I'm excited. My sticks, they've been holding up. Can't complain. The best sticks in the world. So it's all good. Big first. The legendary Ricky Lawson. Ricky. Only, only in my neighborhood. No, oh, come on. <laughs> so, Ricky, uh, give us a little snapshot of what you've been doing and what you got coming up this year. Well, this uh, past Christmas season, uh, I did a Christmas project called Ricky Lawson's Holidays with Friends. Really a nice little project, and what we do, we help raise money during the Christmas season for children who may not get a gift. And Christmas is about giving, so that's what I do during the Christmas season. So now we're a little bit after the first of the year. I have a new solo record coming out called uh, Ricky Lawson Then and Now. Excellent. And, um, you know, working with kids. I got to go to Germany a little bit later on this year um, doing the uh, Frankfurt Music Fair. Are you going to be in Frankfurt? Yeah, I'm going to be oh, there. Oh, I'll see you there. And um, also, too. There's a drum set that when I played with Michael Jackson, it's from the Dangerous Tour. Uh, that will be on display there. And the last song that that drum set played was Man in the Mirror. And the last time it was out of the cases, I was playing with Michael and he was alive and with us. No kidding. Yeah. And who's uh, on the new record? Who's on it? Well, we've got Al Jarreau, James Ingram, Donald Fagan, Greg Filling Gaines, Nathan East. Phil Collins, um, Take Six, The Original Emotions, The Yellow Jackets, Robin Ford, just to name a few. Just just a few, just you know, name. just a few no names. Yeah, I, I was trying to find <laughs> some good players. So these, this is the only cats I could pull together, so. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks, Ricky. Oh, Appreciate God bless you. it.